You know, I'm gonna make a little beer bottle capacity here. It's essentially a bottle. It doesn't have to be a beer bottle. It could be a jar or something that's conveniently shaped. That's, you know, that's got a lid. A beer bottle I just found was a most handy because it's small, compact, and has a nice um, design to it. So I'm gonna wrap, a, I think, wrap some of that around the outside. So you have a wire on the outside. Wrap the foil around the outside of the bottle. Have an electrode going in through the lid, through the, through the bottle, and you fill this up with um, salt water. And that's the electrolyte. And that will act as a um, salt water capacitor for microwave transformer arcing in that. Basically for high voltage projects. I'm gonna give it a go, so I'm gonna punch a hole in the lid. Feed me um, the inner wire through there. Fill it up with salt water. Wrap the foil around and get another one of these wires as me um other connection to complete the circuit. So yeah. So first thing I do is punch a hole in that lid and put this wire through. Let's see if this works. I put three parts salt to one part water. Mix it well. So let's see how this works. They're hot. Oh, it is acting as a capacitor, so it's working. It's actually working too, so it's good. There you go, it's actually acting as a capacitor. Probably a very, very, very low microfarad, so I'm not getting much at all. But it is working. I'll switch power off and see if it actually stores anything. Always unplug first. Safety first, very important, so discharge. Didn't actually store anything, so I'll just disconnect this. Okay, give me a multimeter and test for any sort of voltage, even the smallest voltage. If I get the smallest reading, it's still a capacitor, so it still does actually hold charge and does something. It won't hold much, but it's something. Okay, viewers, it's 0.461 nanofarads. There you go. It's a steady reading of 0.4 nanofarads. So there you go. It actually holds something. It's actually reverse voltage too. It's giving me a negative reading. So that's the that's the positive and that's the negative. It's actually giving me a polarity check. Okay, ohms resistance. Nothing. Nothing in continuity. There you go. It's actually a capacitor. Let's try something else. Hey cat. Stretch, huh? Stretch. Snort. I love cats. <laughs> we also to prove this capacitor actually does something. Got some audio signal going through the capacitor to the speaker. I can just faintly hear it. So it is working. There you go. Just slightly past the current for that capacity. So yeah, it all works. So thanks for watching.